Hello friends, myself Vipul Patel. In this session, we are going to discuss on the experiment of induction motor with constant torque load in PSIM. Here, I have already made the connections, but I have shown how it is done. First of all, you need this ground. This ground is from the element section, source, and this is a ground terminal. You can take this ground element from here. Whenever I take this cursor, the name of this element is shown in at here, at this below section. Like say, when I take the cursor at this source, at below, it, say, it shows the three-phase sinusoidal voltage source. Okay, this three-phase sinusoidal voltage source can be take, taken from element section, source, voltage and this is three-phase sine. This is third element, fourth element that is a three phase sinusoidal voltage source. You can take this source from here, and this is nothing but a current probe. You can take this current probe from here at below. You can take directly from here, and then this is a squirrel cage induction machine. You can take this element from element power motor drive module, and this is a squirrel cage induction machine. You can take this. From here the next speed sensor and torque section and this uh, this is the voltage probe you can take directly the voltage from from at this below section here voltage probe you can take this voltage probe from here to sense the speed and torque the speed sensor and torque sensor this both elements you can take this from in element section power mechan mechanical load and sensor and at the last two speed sensor and torque sensor you can take this from here and the last constant torque mechanical load you can take this load from ele element power mechanical load and sensor and the mechanical load as constant torque this is fourth one mechanical load of constant torque you can take this element from here okay so now we are simulating it to see the output volt output waveform so you can simulate from here simulate run simulation and select the appropriate variable these are the three phase input current and this is the speed mechanical speed of the load and this is the torque of the load you can see from graph <clears throat> the speed is linearly increased from 0 to such a value and you can see that value of torque this value of torque is 30 at here and at here it almost a 30 means the uh, variation in torque is almost negligible means very very small value uh, about 30 and 30.00001 means the torque is constant in each condition of this constant torque mechanical load and speed is varying why this torque is constant because we have take here a constant torque mechanical load thank you for watching this video